Hello and welcome New World friends. Thank you for tuning in to episode 3 from Rags to Riches. This episode is a little delayed, I've been super busy with work and any game time on New World has been really spent kind of doing wars or invasions and just company related stuff so I really kind of lacked on the grinding so apologies for the late upload um, but let's get into it. We did it, we got to 200k. I did tease it in episode two that episode three was going to contain 200k, and we actually did got there. So I'm super thankful and super, yeah, just dead happy we, we got to 200k at least. Yeah, like I said, it's been a strange week of like basically barely any farming, a lot of war, a lot of company activity. But let's head to the trading post and have a breakdown of like what's been good and what's been bad. Gang, I really had to dig deep this week, honestly. It was, yeah, no time to farm really but I sold a bunch of timeless shards that I had stockpiled and got through mutations. Likewise with the ba iron battle medals. I sold loads of them this week. I converted a bunch of them, found them in my storage chest and got a lot through just generally the ectoplasm farm. Um, again, ectoplasm was a huge one for me this week. And I'm, if you want to skip ahead in the video, that is the farm of the week. And it, I'm going to show you the ectoplasm and all the cool stuff that you get with it. Um, yeah, a bunch of tier five mats, random stuff like drop of ironwood sap what else have we sold yeah anyway feel feel free to pause this video and just kind of like see what i've sold i am on abaton in the eu so this is reflective of of the current state of the market um yeah so pause the video have a look got super lucky with oracle down in requater i had like one hour to myself which is just unheard of after the server merges and then i think the first thing that kicked off the kind of 90 to 200k well episode two to this point was i think i sold about six golden scarabs like just as i finished filming episode two so yeah that was a that was a huge boost but yeah i've kind of hit this really like 200k mark wall and I, I, without any time to farm it's going to be a real slog from now on so yeah if you do want to follow along with this journey please like and subscribe it means a huge amount i also stream on twitch most evenings of the week and on the weekend Come and hang out, say hello, and we'll try and get to the 500k gold cap together on stream. Episode three's farm of the week comes from South Brimstone Sands. And you start off at the Worm Sign Obelisk, I believe it's called. Yeah, the Worm Sign Obelisk. The final destination is going to be Castrum Victualis. I think I've pronounced that right. Tell me if I'm wrong, please. But yeah, anyways, head towards the uh, the fast travel point and then take a left. When, as soon as you get out of the fast travel point, you'll see the first um, elite chest. So grab the elite chest. Opposite the elite chest is, a, is basically the first grave offering. So take that. But yeah, this area is nuts. As you can see on the screen, I've overlaid the map. But basically, it's got like 19 sandstone, eight grave offerings, and two elite chests in that kind of the green vicinity, um, south of the fast travel point. You can go north to get into Castrum Victualis. However, there's like one elite chest, and the rest is sandstone. So I think what's best to do is head southwest, do this route, go through the southern entrance. And then once you're done in, in the area, kind of leave from the north and kind of work your way back around as a loop and then probably pick up the elite chest that way. So yeah, it's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, so that's, I do think that's the most efficient way. One thing I just definitely would say is like place a campsite before you go in. It does get a little hairy, especially if you're solo. And then before you actually enter the Victorialis area, um, there's two sandstone nodes um, on the entrance to the left. As you can see these two sandstone nodes are protected by these beastly lines. So limb them, skin them for the iron hide, and yeah, we can move on. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I did it in this order, but the, um, opposite the elite chest that we've just got, there's three sandstone nodes um, you can grab them before you head into the actual area itself and once you're in the area you'll be faced with the cyclops who does hit hard as hell so i really wish i had trenchant recovery on the great sword but i was trying out this uh, knife of god which drops from the white tent from this area so yeah go check it out if you want it it's pretty cool uh, great sword for corrupted bane but yeah, there's a bunch of our calcum nodes here, so make sure you farm them. And I think there's three supply chests and a provision square in just this little tiny area alone, so make sure you get them. Yeah, on, on kind of eliminating this um, Cyclops, he did drop the first um, Ancient Glob of Ectoplasm for this run, so that was a pretty sweet deal. Yeah, so as I was basically finishing off this whole area, I was aggroed, and as you can see on the screen, um, he also dropped an Ancient Glob of Ectoplasm, so that's pretty much two for two. I really just want to point out that the ectoplasm doesn't just drop from mobs. 
It also drops on all the supply chests as well, so make sure you grab the stockpile, make sure you grab all the supply chests in the area because they do have the ability to roll. I actually am wearing full look gear. I don't think it makes any difference, but yeah, I am wearing full look gear. And then finally, and finally, to make sure you're like kind of min max in this area, uh, make sure you take your topaz portion because it's super easy to get your two gyp uh, topaz gypsum. Um, just kind of being in here, taking out the mobs. And also, this area is pretty amazing for weapon leveling. So, if you've got any weapons that need leveling, you need to do a bunch of other stuff, head here. It's awesome for all of Orocalca and Lodestone, weapon leveling, your topaz. It's just it's such a fun and fun, fun area. So, yeah. Honestly, I really love this farm. It's just super easy. It's super fun. You get a lot of resources. And I think I'm just going to head back here and kind of put it into my daily route of just being able to get a quick 480 gold for ectoplasm. But as soon as I was done, I went to the trading post. And as you, as you can see, I pretty much listed seven for sale. Um, it didn't take long to get seven, but yeah, it was an all around good, good route. It's a really good little money maker, especially with all the different resources in that area. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've been here before. Let me know if there's anything else I should be looking out for whilst I'm here. Also, it'd be super interesting to know if this is the first video you watch of the series. Um, I'll link obviously the episode one and episode two. But yeah, just let me know if you're, you're still following along. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series. Let me know how I can get better at doing this. What is anything wrong with the video? What can I do to improve? But yeah, like and subscribe is a huge motivator and a huge driver. So again, thank you all uh, for watching and I'll see you in episode four.